Hey, welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. So today's shocker tutorial, I'm gonna show you a really cool effect that you might not have heard of before. Now I think for most people out there who have done video editing, they know of the whole chroma key or more often known as the green screen effect. And for anybody who watches movies or televisions, then they've probably heard of that before. And the reason why it's called a chroma key is because you're keying out the color. And the reason why most people refer to it as a green screen is because green is usually the best color that's used to key out elements in a video, but you can use other colors like blue or orange. However, there is an opposite chroma effect that doesn't remove or key out a color but instead it keeps or holds the color and that effect is called a chroma hold. So let me show you how this works. So you're gonna choose your clip, you're gonna to go to filters, then you're gonna look for chroma. And in this case, we wanna choose chroma hold. So here's what's really cool about this feature. So if you go down here to distance and you move it all the way forward, it has all your colors. However, if you reduce this distance down to zero, it pulls all the color out of your video and now you have a really easy grayscale effect and that is really a fun feature to use if that's the look that you want. But what we wanna do here is we wanna hold or keep a color. So let me show you how that works. So say for example, I wanna hold this green color and I want all the other colors in the video to be desaturated or to turn into a grayscale effect. So all you have to do is go here to color and choose the color picker and then choose the color in your video that you actually want to hold or keep. So we choose green right here. And now if I move the distance down, it's gonna slowly but surely get rid of all the other colors except for the color that I wanna hold. And that there is our chroma hold. It looks really cool. And if you have a nice green screen like I have here, it separates it really well but you could also hold other colors. So we'll go ahead and choose the color picker again. And what's nice about this is once you choose the color picker, it'll bring all your colors back. So say for example, I wanna keep this blue color. So I'll choose this and now you can adjust this and it takes a little bit of work and it's not exactly 100% perfect for some colors, but as you can see here, it's kept everything that's blue and it's desaturated all the other colors and I could also choose another color here. Let's choose the color of my face. We'll do the same thing. We'll see how much of this it keeps. And like I said, it's not exactly perfect, but it's a really neat effect as you can see here. So if you have something like a green screen, this will work the best as what I have here. And it does a really great job holding and keeping the colors that you want. And so that is a quick tutorial on the whole chroma hold feature. I really like this a lot. And whenever I discovered it, I was really surprised that there is something like this and also how it could give your video a different look that you probably didn't expect. So if you actually had any thoughts on this or if you wanted to see more of my shotgun tutorials and tips, I do have an entire playlist. I'll leave that in the description area below. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Protect your online privacy and keep data brokers from selling your personal information by using DeleteMe, the number one privacy information remover service since 2010. Sign up today and get 20% off your first order. For more information, check out the affiliate link in the description area below.